Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel Debug Will. In this video tutorial, we learn how to create NuGet package for .NET Framework. Let's go through the steps. First step is create an account in NuGet.org. If you have already an account in sign, or I'll just sign up. So I have registered my account in NuGet. Now next step is generate an API key. Keep blob pattern to star. So let's go to NuGet again. Click on this. Go to API keys. Create. Just give a name for the key. And in the blob pattern, put star. And then create. Now it says a new API key has been created. Make sure to copy your new key. Now using the copy button below, you will not be able to do so again. So let's copy. I'm gonna paste this key somewhere but I'm not gonna show it to you because personal information and now it says create class library dotnet framework we start creating our new bit package let's create a new solution in visual C sharp select class library dotnet framework give it a meaningful name okay so this is our package that we want to upload just give a basic functionality for this package so that we can just test it i'll just add a method which prints string whatever input we will give to this method it will just print this line let's rebuild and make sure everything is fine let's build the solution build succeeded now flip to the slide now it says change assembly info title description company product and copyright go to the project again right click Go to properties, click on assembly info, and I'll leave the title as it is for description. I'll just give this is my first package, and we we'll leave company as it is, product as it is. We can just copyright it to debug will, and we we'll leave version as it is. Click OK, close this file. Step four is done. Edit dot cs proj file and set configuration from debug to release basically when we upload our nuget package we want it to be sent as a release version not the debug version go to the project and to edit cs proj file right click and unload the project first and now again go right click edit cs proj file and we'll change this debug to release save this file and close it flip to the slide again now go to downloads and download nuget.exe and paste it at the location where our csproj file is slash download this is the latest exe file we'll download it and we'll paste this exe at the location where we have this solution created first let's reload this project and then right click open file explorer so this is the place where we want to paste the download in nuget.exe. I'm going to download the exe now. Save it. Let's paste the nuget.exe that we just downloaded. Now back to the slide. Now we need to open CMD and go to the same location where our csproj file is and type the command nuget spec the proj file name. Go to the file explorer. On the top, just write CMD this makes sure that the path where we end up in the command prompt is at the same csproj file location so at this place we'll say new get spec and the name of csproj file so it says created a new spec successfully this is the new spec file created now flip to the slide again now it says open the newly created new spec file and fill in the values go to the explorer again open this file in notepad plus plus it has various values like ID, version, title. All these values will be taken from assembly information that we have added in our NuGet package. For now, we don't have license URL, project URL, and icon URL. So we'll just comment this out. And tags basically help us to find our package in NuGet server. So just give a meaningful name like C sharp package. Save the file and then go to slide again 
now it says compile and bind the project in release go to our solution change this drop down to release and rebuild the solution rebuild succeeded now it says run nuget pack in command prompt at the same location run nuget pack the point to be noted here is it's the release which is very important it says it successfully created nuget package so if we go to solution explorer nuget package is created here now the last step remaining to push it to the server we need to run this command nuget push the package name space the api key hyphen source and this address i'm not gonna show this api key to you so let's run this command nuget push nuget package name so this is the new package that got created and now i'm gonna give my api key and with space then hyphen source and this that api key was the key that we had got when we had created our account so when you actually run the command and if the package is pushed successfully you'll get this message so i'll just show you a demo command that you need to write you get push and then so this was the package name and then you'll give the api key space hyphen source and then this url so if i press enter it will not work now because the key is wrong so you got this error now let's go to nuget and see where is our package so again go to the account and click on manage packages go to unlist packages this is your package that got pushed to your account you'll find your package in unlisted package so you'll have to wait for approx 15 to 20 minutes and after that you'll see that package has moved from unlist to published packages this is how we publish a nuget package in this i also want to show you how we can use this package so i already created a console application and in this suppose we want to use the package we just now created so go to nuget package manager console click on this package and this is the command that we need to run in nuget package manager copy this go to the project and run this command and it says that the nuget package successfully installed if we see the actual package that we had created it is debug will package dot class one so let's go and include this in the console project where we want to use the nuget package and now we can create the instance class one and now the function name was display we have access to display we'll just press i input nuget package let's run the application so it says i am learning nuget package this is how you create a nuget package and how you can use it in your application that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you like this video click on like subscribe and comment thank you